Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 288. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 285 to 294. Hey, in this trick, we have a product code here and we need to count characters. For example, we want to count how many A's there are in here. One, two, three. All right, we already saw how to do this in Excel Magic Trick 223, and here's the formula we used. We, and I'll explain this part of it again when we build our new formula, but this mid row indirect len extracted all of the characters and made them individual characters so we could analyze it. So if we highlight all the way from this mid to over here and hit our F9 key, which is value, you can see that formula extracts these. And then we can analyze this once we have them extracted as individual characters and say, is that anything in this text string equal to whatever's in G14, which is A? But notice, it doesn't, uh, it's not case sensitive. So this formula right here counted the capital A and the little a. Now watch this. If we type this to the number uh, 7, it gives a zero. So there's two drawbacks to this formula. It doesn't take, pick up case sensitive because if we want to count capital A, we want to return one. Little a, we want to return two. And this formula doesn't count numbers. Now one way to solve this is to just um, do the same formulas before but put text. The text takes what's ever in G14, in this case the number seven, and formats it uh, in this case as a number which will also format letters um, but in essence what it's doing is it's converting a number to text and then it can be compared because if you look at this whole mid construction right here if I can actually get it zoop, and hit F9 you see the fact that 7 is in double quotes that mean that tells you that Excel thinks it's uh, a letter or text or a word. So by using the text here, it converts that 7 to the same kind of in quote 7 and then it can be compared. The problem with this one is when we go back to our uh, capital A here, let's just put capital A, both of these count capital A and little a as the same. So the solution here, or one solution, is to use the code function. Now I have a video up here and there's a, there's a link. I always have lots of notes up here. I did a whole video just on character and code and mid, very important function. But let's just take a quick look and remind ourselves what uh, character and code does. Here's the number one. If you do the character function, oh, that's the number or the code. And when I put it into the char character function, it pops out the character right there. Whereas if I say code, look at that character, uh, code will give us the number. For example, one time, one uh, character that we use a lot at the XLS Fun Channel is character 10. Even though it looks like a blank right there, it's actually a hard return. So here it's code of whatever that is, it's 10. Here is character 10. So you can use this as a hard return in, in uh, text formulas, concatenating. Another example, maybe 247 down, all the way down here. Sometimes you might need a uh, division symbol in some text formula. So if you did character 247, then it would return a division symbol. Similarly, if you say, hey, what's the code for division symbol? It will return 247. So what we're going to use is code. Because notice, if you go up here and look at capital A, that's 65, whereas little a is 97. And there's numbers in here somewhere. I forget where they are right up here. There you go. So the number 7 is code 55. All right, so let's go build our formula that will uh, take into consideration numbers and case. Now I'm going to hide these two columns. Right click hide. All right, now let's start with the very inside of the uh, formula. We're actually going to have to extract each one of these letters individually, which we, means we need the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in uh, in an array to use in the mid function. So here's how you construct a variable a sequence of numbers. Here we need 1 to 12. Here we need like 1 to 11 or whatever it is. Equals row. That tells us what row uh, a reference is. And then indirect. Indirect takes something uh, that is a text string and converts it to a reference. And here's the trick. In quotes, I'm going to put 1 because we need to always start at 1. 
semicolon, end quote, because those are in text, and then ampersand. Now, that's just one colon, which is the beginning of a row reference. What we really want here is 1 colon 12. But somehow we need to have a variable that changes depending on the length here. So we'll just use len length. That gives us the length. All right. So when I close parentheses on uh, the indirect in the row, when I highlight this and do my F9 trick, you can see that's a clever way of getting uh, 1 to 12. Whoops. All right, hit uh, Control Z to get it back to our formula. Now, we're going to use this 1 to 12 inside of the mid function. What does the mid function uh, do? It actually extracts something from the middle of a text string. It wants the text, which is right there, comma, and the start number is, well, we have our 1 to 12. And then we go to the end, <coughs> and we put. So those are our start numbers, because we need to extract 12 individual characters, comma, and then the number of characters is 1 each time. So the way this works is this is the array right here. It's got 1 to 12. By the way, the row takes that reference 1 to 12 and converts it to the numbers 1 to 12. But let's say, example, uh, when it gets to 4, the mid will deliver, or the row, this part right here will deliver a 4. So it says go to the fourth character. And then this 1 will say extract one character. So that will extract the 6. Similarly, when we get to 5, it'll say go to the fifth character and ex extract one character, which will give us the D. All right. So if we highlight all this and hit our F9, you can see that's the part that gives us our uh, list of characters that then we can analyze. Control Z. Now the trick here is we want to put code around this. That way we have a way of differentiating not only between numbers, but also between uh, letters, case sensitive. If we highlight all that and hit the F9 key, you can see it gives us oh, all of the codes, right? 97 was that little a we saw. 97 there was a little a. And uh, 65 right there is that capital A. 7 is 55. I'm going to Control-Z. Now I can simply say that's equal to code of whatever this thing is over here in cell G14. And I'm going to lock it going down. Uh, now that'll give us a series of trues and falses, right? But what we really want, in fact, let's do it. F9, right? Gives us, uh, and there's one true right there. So I'm going to Control Z. Remember, we're counting. So now I'm going to put a parentheses around that whole code and put a double negative. Uh, double negative converts it from trues and falses to zeros and ones. And then to finally add them, we could use some product. That way we don't have to use uh, Control Shift Enter. You could use some out here and then use Control Shift Enter. All right, ready? Control Enter. And there's one. Copy it down. There's one, zero, zero, zero. Now when we change this to little a, right, we get two. There's an a and an a. It, doesn't count that capital. Down here, there's two. Down here, there's five. We change it to seven. Sure enough, there's one, two, three, zero, zero, and there's a seven right there. All right, so that's a little bit um, a more robust formula. Back in uh, trick number 223, the question there, did they were all capitals, and we weren't counting numbers, only the capital letters. So that other more. Uh, Sh that shorter, briefer formula worked for that situation. But this formula will work in um, all three situations, numbers and case sensitive. All right, see you next trick.